Welcome to To Enable Help. This section is for teachers. Uh, there's been an overview which contains a significant amount of information in a very short um, video. So I'm going to be breaking that video up into three smaller videos. And this video is going to focus on how to choose subjects. So as a teacher, you should have My Classrooms. If you don't have My Classrooms, it means that you are not a member of an organization. So how do you check? If you're a member of an organization, you go to My Organizations and it'll load up the organizations for which you're a member of. And you must have the mentor box ticked. So you might be a member of many organizations, but at least one of the boxes must have mentor ticked. And each of the organizations where you have put the mentor box ticked, you may mentor learners in that organization. So what I'm showing you here is that demo user is permitted to mentor Casterbridge Music Development Academy and but he's not able to mentor in Rob Ferreira. Okay, the, sta the status here is also pending but nevertheless he is only mentoring in Casterbridge. So if I go back to the dashboard because I've got that mentor indicator ticked I have this tile available to me and now I can choose my subjects. So I can choose a subject and I can choose mathematics and I can choose grade 10 and I can mentor the grade. So there I am, mathematics, mentoring the grade. Uh, I'm going to stay on this page and I'm just going to save that and then I'm going to exit and now I'm going to choose another grade another subject to mentor. I'm going to choose, uh, let's go music theory and I'm going to go pre-grade one and I'm going to mentor the grade. Right, if I go back to, I can exit out of here. I don't think I need to, I don't think I need to save it. Let's just see. I actually do need to save it. So there's something. You need to save it. So music theory, pre-grade one, mentor the grade, Save. Okay, saved. Now I can exit. And I, now you'll see I've got music theory. Choose subject. Physical science. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm going to do physical science grade 10 and I'm going to mentor the grade. And I'm going to save. I'm going to exit. So now that is simply how you select the subjects that you're going to mentor and you can continue doing this and you can continue mentoring as many subjects as you want so the last thing i'm going to show you is how to unenroll from a grade that you decided to men to mentor or stop mentoring a subject so accounting grade 10 i don't really want to mentor accounting grade 10 anymore i'm just going to go to my desktop you're going to see there's accounting grade 10. These are ordered alphabetically, so accounting is always at the top. I don't want to mentor accounting, so I can cancel my mentorship and I can save it. So now if I come back to my dashboard, what it shows is no more accounting. Okay, so that is a simple way. Choose subjects. These are the subjects I've chosen. You can choose as many subjects as you want and you can mentor multiple grades within a specific subject. So if I go mathematics, grade 11, you see grade 10 is not here because I'm already mentoring it. So it's available grade 9 and grade 11. I can mentor grade 11. Save, dashboard, and what we will now see is mathematics, grade 11. So I've got mathematics grade 10 and mathematics grade 11. The students in my mathematics grade 10 class will be different to the students in my mathematics grade 11 class. And that is how you, as a user, select subjects and set up your classrooms for each of the subjects that you are going to teach. I hope that has been helpful to you.